What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share some of my sales from Poshmark. This week has been huge, made well over $2,000 in sales on Poshmark this week alone and that's mainly because my wife and I have been taking turns sharing the closet. So at the very least we've been sharing our closet at least five to six times a day and of course sharing is really helping just really get the get more exposure and create more sales so if you guys are experiencing slower sales you definitely just want to continue to share your closet and I know although some of our closets are bigger than others you just got to take the time and just get it done so without further ado let's get into it alright y'all so starting things off is this Nike duffel bag and this one actually came from the personal collection I actually found this one while I was moving and I completely forgot about this bag so I decided to let this one go for 20 bucks on here on Poshmark and it did have some minor stains so I took some close-up photos of that but I usually come across gym bags in the thrift store all the time sometimes it's a little too expensive for me but if you guys can find them for maybe two or three bucks or if you can get them from a Goodwill outlet there's definitely some profit to be made but if you have to spend anything more than say five or six bucks I would suggest passing on these bags but the good thing is this one did sell within about three or four days so if you guys can find some definitely pick it up next up is this pair of Ariat uh, cruiser shoes these were in fairly good condition I picked this one up from a local thrift store for about five bucks and it sold for 32 I was originally asking 39 for these but of course you guys know Poshmark buyers have to pay shipping and taxes so I usually get lower offers so I went ahead and accepted that offer for the 32 bucks and I was glad that these sold as fast as they did because once I came home and I was just looking at these shoes. In my opinion, they were kind of ugly, but I was hoping somebody would still grab these up because they were from Ariat and they sold within a week. So if you guys come across anything from Ariat, definitely pick it up. They definitely have a loyal fan base. Next up is a pair of Ugg sneakers. And if you guys follow the, my, my closet, if you follow the channel, you guys know I had these for well over six months and I purchased these from the Ugg outlet for about $15. And at first I was asking 59 bucks, never got any offers. Then I lowered the price to 49, still no offers. And once I lowered the price down to 39 bucks, these finally started to sell. So I think I still have one left in a size 10 and the rest have finally been selling out. So sometimes when it comes to shoes that are just taking forever to sell, sometimes you just gotta lower the price, cut your losses and let them go. With these, I was expecting to make at least maybe 20 to 25 bucks in profit but now I'm only going to make closer to $15 in profit. So it is what it is. Next up is a pair of Nike Forever Waffles. And these are regular track shoes. They just don't have the spikes on the bottom. And I picked these up from the Nike outlet in my area for only 10 bucks. And the good thing was, like I said, 10 bucks. There were no eBay sales or Poshmark sales for me to make a comp. So I just priced it at $59 and they sold within a few days. It made me think that I may have priced them too low, but it is what it is. I only got them for 10 bucks. So whoever picked these up, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Next, we got a pair of cool convertible pants and convertible pants basically just mean you can turn them into shorts. And I used to find this brand all the time when I was living in California. Since I moved, I probably found it maybe once or twice. So I doubt I'll be finding these as often as I used to, but it is what it is. Cool is still a good brand to be on the lookout for. I'm not selling as many clothing items as I used to. And for that reason, I'm not picking up as many clothing items as I used to. But if I can find cool, I'll still pick it up all day long. And I was asking 29 and it sold for 29 Next up, we got a pair of ultra running shoes. And I'm always finding this brand since I moved. This is probably my fifth or sixth pair that I've sold this month alone. And this one sold for 60 bucks. I was asking 69 but of course, I took the best offer on these and ultra shoes for the most part i get anywhere between 30 and as high as 80 bucks for these so as long as they're in good condition price them high and just wait for the right buyer next up is a pair of timberland boots and this isn't the like the for me i would say the official six inch wheat boots that those of us from brooklyn that those of us from brooklyn that we all know and love these were actually from ross so this is like to me this is like the the mid-level timberland boot the one that people don't usually want but for the most part it's still sold these were 30 bucks on clearance in ross and i wish i had footage for you guys of this but it is what it is i picked this one up for 30 on clearance it sold for 89 and i still have one pair of these left so if you guys run to your local ross you might still be able to find some on clearance but for the most part they probably are all gone at this point 
Next up, we got a pair of Salomon Pathfinder running shoes, and these sold for 55. I believe I was asking 59 on these, and I went ahead and took a best offer. Now, these in particular, this style, this one doesn't sell for as much as the X1. I believe it's an X1 style. Um, those usually sell for a little more money, but um, these sold pretty quickly for me, and these were brand new with tags. So if you guys come across Salomon shoes, not all of them sell for some decent profit. Some don't. Some sit forever, but this one in particular sold 55. Next up, we got a pair of Miss Me jeans. And for some reason, when I check comps on Miss Me jeans, I still see that some sell for like 50 to 60 bucks. So I'm not sure which ones are the ones that are actually making a ton of profit. But ever for the longest while now, let's say the last three or four months, all the Miss Me jeans that I find sell for about 30 bucks. So drop a comment if you guys are still making some decent profit on these. I picked these up for like, I think five or six dollars and they sold for 29. So I'll definitely be flipping these as long as I can find them for a decent price. But as you guys know, places like Savers and Goodwill, when they find Miss Me jeans in their stores, they're pricing them for 30 bucks as well. Next up, you got a pair of Bonobos pants and I don't pick up Bonobos pants anymore because they don't have much of a resale value. I believe ever since they made that partnership with Walmart, the brand, the resale value on the brand just kind of took a dive. So this is one of the last Bonobos pants in my inventory. I might have one more, but I'm not sure. Um, these only sold for 19 bucks. Thankfully, they sold for 19 because on eBay, I've been seeing them sell for like 12 and $13. Next up, we got a Nike USC Trojans jersey, and I'm not sure who this was. I don't I don't remember if this is Matt Leinart or not. I don't follow college football at all, but this jersey was pretty dope in my opinion. It was stitched, and it sold for $29. I was asking $29, and I think I paid $5 or $6 for this jersey. So not a ton of profit was made, but this one did sell fairly quickly. So drop a comment if you guys remember who wore this number. Like I said, I think it's Matt Leinart, but I probably, I'm probably wrong. Next up is a pair of lower hiking boots for women, and I had these in the inventory for at least anywhere between a year and a year and a half. Loa is one of those brands that does sell pretty well. It's kind of like Merrill, if you ask me, in my opinion, it, the, it reminds me of Merrill. And I've seen comps in the past for as high as like 60, 70 bucks for some of these boots. I don't know what it was with these. I don't know if the size was just too small. Maybe the overall condition just wasn't there. Maybe it's because I cross-listed these from ebay a while ago and back then i actually used to take snapshots from ebay and just put them here on poshmark so maybe the photos just wasn't as high quality so i had these listed for such a long time and i kept lowering the price at one point i had these boots listed for 29 dollars. finally got a best offer of 25 and i went ahead and accepted them and it ended up shipping out to somebody that's actually in arizona so i'm not sure if they actually watched the channel or not but thank you for finally purchasing these shoes i was just tired of seeing these in the inventory and i'm glad that they went to a good home and somebody's actually enjoying them now next up we got a pair of ugg boots and these sold for 84 bucks I had them listed for 109 at one point and then I lowered the price down to 89 because the comps that I was seeing on eBay were selling for right around 80 bucks. Some even less brand new with box, but I didn't want to um, lower it too low to the point where I wouldn't make any money. But thankfully, these did sell after I lowered the price to 89. Um, I lowered the price. I got an offer of 84. I went ahead and accepted that. And I think I spent 20 bucks on these boots, anywhere between 20 to 25 bucks. So Ugg outlet, I'll definitely be back there soon and hopefully try to re-up for the fourth quarter. Next up, we got a pair of Ugg. Next up, we got a pair of Doc Martin boots for women and the low cut boots never sell for that much profit for me. Uh, drop a comment if you guys still make good money on these, but for me, I usually sell these anywhere between 30 and 40 bucks. The high cut pair, I usually make a little more on those, sometimes 60 to 70 or even more. But these, I picked these up for, I think, six bucks from a local thrift and they sold within a couple of days. So for me, even though I didn't make that much money, um, the fact that they sold so fast definitely made me um, happy to still pick them up. And last but not least is a pair of Jordan 8s in the South Beach colorway. And I actually purchased these on Poshmark to sell on Poshmark. I had some referral credits on there, so I, I got these basically for free. So this is total profit for me. Um, one thing that I wish I wish they did sell on eBay because I wouldn't have sold I wouldn't have had to pay any fees if I sold them for a hundred bucks because eBay they they no longer charge fees if your shoes sell for a hundred bucks or more. 
but at the end of the day like i said this was a hundred percent profit only downside to this is the fact that one insole in the shoe was missing so i did i did have to lower the price a little bit but it didn't affect the price point too badly so if you guys come across nike nike air jordan 8s south beach colorway you can sell them anywhere between 100 and maybe 120 if you have the buy. all right y'all that's all i got for you for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace for the winner, cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner, move just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I shoulda never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit.